What's up, everybody? This is DJ Endo, and welcome to part two of my beat gridding and music preparation tutorials with Tractor Scratch Pro. In my previous videos, I showed you how to set a beat grid for your tracks. Now, another thing I like to do to prepare my music in Tractor Pro is set what's called a load marker. A load marker is a special kind of cue point in Tractor that whenever I load the track into a deck, it's going to load right to this cue point that I set, the load marker. So to set a load marker, I'm going to load the track that I beat gridded. And it's important to note I would set your beat grid before setting any cue points and load markers because this will make your mixes more accurate and will make it easier for you to jump around your tracks seamlessly. So now that the track's loaded, I'm going to click on the first beat of the track. And you can see that my cursor mode is still in snap mode as I discussed in my previous video how to set that in the preferences. So I'm going to click on the first beat and I'm going to set a cue point on the first beat. To set a cue point, I'm going to first need to see my cue section beneath the decks. If I don't see it, I can click on this little arrow beneath the active button and then I'm going to click on the cue button. Now I can see my cue panel. Now to set a cue point, I'm going to click on an empty slot in the cue section for example, on this number two right here. Now when I click on the number two, Tractor sets a blue cue marker on the first beat of the track. This is actually a normal cue point. Now I'm going to want to change this cue point to a load marker. To do that, I'm going to click on this drop down menu and select load. Now this actually changed the cue point to a yellow marker and you can see down below in the cue section that the number two is yellow instead of blue. So now I actually have a beat marker and a load marker on the first beat of the track. Now I don't need two cue points on one beat in the track, so what I'm going to do is actually map this load marker to the number one in the cue section, and I'll show you why I do this later. So I'll click on the number two, and then click on map, and then I'll click on the number one. So now Tractor actually assigned my load marker to the first cue point in the cue panel. But you can see in the track I also have this white marker behind the yellow marker. So the grid marker is still there, but I only have one cue point assigned to that beat. This is DJ Endo. I hope you enjoyed the videos. For more info about me, check out djendo.com. And for more info about Dubspot, check out www.dubspot.com. Peace.